Obrigado. The Minotaur. Yeah, I literally. Wh How does it? Why? A fucking helicopter comes across the ocean. Like what? Really? I've unintentionally brought myself to the beach. So I wasn't planning on coming over here. And there's a lot of people here. The only people that's gonna be in Miami Beach at 12:35 are tourists, people that got hella money, and people that work from home. So you know, I wasn't really able to come out here around these hours. But yo, it's a vibe. It's a fucking vibe. And I'm surprised I'm able to record in front of all these people, just like casually, like, I don't know. I've gotten way better just not giving a fuck. Like back in the day, I would, I would not be able to record in front of all of these people. Like, look at these people, look at that. I just love this side of Miami way better than downtown. It's really just a different environment. Like everybody over here is just having a good time. They're literally kicking the ball over there. People in downtown Brooklyn, they're not kicking balls, bro. I'm trying to kick paychecks and keep it going, that's it. But sometimes, you know, it's nice to just slow it down and just relax with the people. I think that's why I'm able to just freely record because I feel like in downtown, I'm not able to do something like this without people looking at me, looking down on me. Because if I don't, if they come up to me and ask me, yo, what's your follower count? And I say, you know, I got 1,800. For me, I don't care, I love that. 1,800 people, eight, imagine putting 1,800 people in a fucking room. In reality, it doesn't seem like a big thing, but in, in the grand scheme of things, bro, it's a pretty big number. If I don't have at least 100,000 subscribers and I'm like the trending topic to talk about, Nobody trying to be in a video, nobody trying to collab. It's all attention based. But you know, I get it. I get why people do it, you know, the money. But I feel like at the end of the day, YouTube is not supposed to be about the money. Obviously, you want, I want to make cash, I want to make full-time income. Of course, you guys see my, you, you've seen my drip vision board. What I don't get is, do people not actually have fun doing this? Like, I'm having the time of my life doing these things. Like, just YouTube, being out in public, being out in nature, being out in the city, just recording and showing you guys my day-to-day -day life. Do people not feel this sense of, Fulfillment? I don't know. Cause I see a lot of creators sell out to their audience. You know, sell them some crypto bullshit or try to scam them with some kind of new product. I don't know. I Man, I feel like you can only do that if you just don't love the art itself and how people support the art. You can't love. I don't know. I just I don't. It doesn't mentally make sense to me because I would never sh shell out for money. Like, why would I do that? If I'm doing YouTube for free now, I'm enjoying it now. There's no amount of money someone can pay me to sell out. I just don't get it. Got the water in the background just flowing. Everybody's just having a good time. I'm having a good time. Are you guys having a good time? We're all having a good time. Thought a long time about what my channel was about because whenever I looked up YouTube help videos or YouTube tips, how to grow on YouTube, blah, 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 they always say pick a niche. And I've always tried to figure out what my niche was or what I could get into to get people intrigued. And I could never figure it out. I could never just pick one niche because I have so many fucking interests. Like I can't just pick one thing you know at first it was reactions which is surprising if you got if anybody's watching this video today they're like yo you talk you the reactions yes my channel used to be a reaction channel i was one of those people then after that i started doing self-help you know trying to teach you guys how to get in the gym and help with girls and you know that's cool and all but i'm not a, i'm not a hamza you know i'm not a sneako i'm not one of those guys you know i'm just me i'm not trying to be a prophet i'm not trying to be you know you guys role model i'm not a role model i literally make videos about just what I go through in my experiences. I'm not trying to, like, if I do something that's fucked up, I don't want no one to go in the comments, yo, Ty, why would you do this? Because you know you're a role model to the, I'm not a role model, I'm saying it right now. You know, I'm not trying to say that as a cope, but I'm just, you know, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna do things, because I'm still growing. I'm still, you know, I'm still trying to figure out this life thing. I don't know. I have no idea, but hey, that's life, I guess. That's the, the game of life. Yo, is this old lady trying to flirt up the old man? Oh uh -oh, man, he's a young young chap. Are they, is, he, is she putting her game in? Because she literally, she was sitting there and she moved over there. Yo, okay. Older women getting it in these days, I see it. I try to tell Jerry to come to the beach because I can see that he's very stressed, you know. He still works every day, comes home and you know just stays in his room. And I try to tell him, yo, you gotta get out in the city, you gotta go meditate, go do something because it's gonna kill you. It's not literally, but you know what I mean? It's gonna kill you mentally, you know, it's gonna, you're gonna be depressed, you're gonna be hurt, you're gonna be sad, tired of life. 
people wonder like why well, like why are you still so happy even though you go through so many things because i get out of the house i get out of the city do stuff like this like yo go to the beach i know for a lot of you guys you're probably not gonna go to the beach because you know you don't have a beach that's accessible but you know maybe you have a nice little spot you can go to to see you know a nice scenery or you have a nice little corner you can go to or maybe you have a nice lake you can go to and just relax i used to go to a place called the reservoir back in my hometown with my friends and it was like this little creek looking thing and you know I used, we used to sit there and it was something like that well it wasn't like this but it was the same feeling you know it was water just splashing on the rocks um you know it wasn't pretty blue water like this and you know crystal white sand but you know it was still we, we did what we could but no matter where you're at in life you can always you know look at the good things back when i was in mississippi i'm not gonna lie i was fucking depressed i hated being there it felt like it was a lot of weight on me you know i just i just did enjoy being in a small town like that especially Mississippi, like really, you know, I still went out in the city, got in my car, drove to different parts of the country, places that none of my friends have even seen or heard of because I was just exploring, I was just driving. Yes, it cost me a lot of gas money. I was like, fuck, I, used, I spent a lot of gas money, a lot of gas money. I literally used to drive hours and hours just, you know, anywhere to clear my mind, you know. Sometimes you gotta do that. A lot of people don't do that these days. They just stay in their head, stay at work, stay at school. Get away from that, get away from school, get away from work and just go out into your environment wherever you're at. Wherever you're at, you can do that. I wanna find the boardwalk. Hopefully I have enough battery, but I think we're still good. So I think we should better make it to the boardwalk, you know, and you know, be lost for a little bit and still make it back home. But if not, then I've screwed myself. I'm gonna search for the boardwalk. I think it's somewhere over there, but I don't know for sure. I'm gonna just guess. I'm assuming, because over there is more like nothing. Hopefully I don't get lost. We're probably gonna get lost. Yo, I got fucking sand in my shoes. <sighs> I was planning on not going to the beach today. I literally, I wrote on the agenda, do not go to the beach. You do not have beach attire. Where am I? Fast, yo, come on. Look. All right, so I made it to the boardwalk. From the sound of it, there, oh, there it is. From the sound of it, I made it to the boardwalk. It was a little less glamorous in the day. You know, I was expecting like the cool colors and lights. You know, you know, whenever you type in boardwalk, you see the crazy pictures. But you know, it's a little, you know, a little more normal during the day. Guys, let me know if you want to see a video here in Miami Beach because I don't think I've ever done it. Well, I've done videos on the beach, but. I never really been over to this side of Miami Beach where all the people are at, all the craziness happens. He literally just he literally just took me off. I did I can't make this shit up. He literally Miami Beach is where all the craziness happens, you know. When you see the crazy people throwing bottles at people, you know, breaking people's heads. All that happens over here. So, you know. I might need to bring Jerry with me because uh, I don't know, we might get in a fight or something. Let me find somewhere to post up. This place is pretty big, so it's not gonna be too hard. I guess benches and stuff everywhere. I want a little bit of seclusion, so I'm gonna ride over here to get away from everybody. First impressions, Miami Beach Boardwalk, A+. The minute I got over here, a group of skateboarders came through and I was able to get some cool footage, some cool B-roll, and they were so cool about it. You know, they were like, just chill about it. They didn't come up like, yo, get out of, get out of the way. Cause I was swerving through them and you know they were just okay with it. And only that type of thing happens over here, bro. Like oh, in downtown, but people would be like, yo, get the fuck out of my way. Uh, I don't know camera, no camera. Like people over here are so chill. So fucking chill. I am happy I made it to the boardwalk. So honestly, it was literally, I was over there. It wasn't that hard to find. So luckily I didn't get lost. I feel like I can make some art over here, bro. Like it just, everything just feels livelier. I don't know, I feel like I can just, I feel like I'm more in my element. Oof. 
hardest part for me about doing YouTube is not coming up with video ideas, but it's having way too many of them because I have so many things I want to do, so many big, you know, videos I want to make, but that just takes so much time, so much effort. And speaking on effort and time, oh, fuck, let's sit down for this one. We got to sit down. La morra, la morra. So I guess let's just get it out there. Um, today will be my last day in Miami. Not having a job. I bet some of you are like, oh my God, so you're moving? No, I'm not moving, I'm just joking. Today will be my last day being unemployed, technically. Tomorrow is the day I start my new job. And that means we're gonna be back in that nine to five culture, you know, that hustle, that grustle, you know. Past couple weeks have been probably the funnest days I've had in a long time. You know, I was able to do YouTube technically for full time, which it feels like. If I was doing YouTube full time, I literally would be doing the same exact thing I'm doing now, you know. So I've really gotten a sneak peek into the life I'm gonna have hopefully, potentially, but as all good things, it shall end. But if it's good enough, it will come back. So I do believe I'll be back to this situation, but on my own terms, not because I was fired. I guess I should mention, that means I might be um, lowering how many videos I do a week. So if you're new to the channel, you don't know, I've been for the past like month, posting three videos a week, really pushing YouTube, having a great time, you know, loved it. I am getting a job and that means I'm gonna have a lot less time to dedicate to the channel. So. I'm gonna be probably, more than likely, I'm not saying for a fact, but I'm probably gonna be switching to back to my original schedule, which was two videos a week, just because I'm not trying to overwork myself. You know, I'm not trying to work four hours a week and then, you know, kill myself at home and then barely better make it. Gotta have a work-life balance. You can't work too much and expect to be happy. I do understand that, so I am probably gonna be switching to two videos a week. If it is too strenuous, I'm gonna try to do three, but if I just can't, you know, hey, we're, we're getting rid of it. I had fun, today was a very, it's a very fun day. I'm really loving the energy here. I am definitely, for sure, gonna make more videos out here. I don't know when though. It honestly just takes so much time to get out here. You know, I gotta bring my one wheel, and that's not a, it's not a hassle, but whenever you get off, I don't, I gotta watch it to make sure people don't steal it, you know? It's just, it's more, it takes more time than just, you know, Ubering out here, but with Uber, it costs money, and I'm not making money off the channel yet, so it's like, you know, it's a battle. All right, let me go home. Hopefully, my, my one wheel has enough battery. It will be a sad story if I can't make it home. Uh, and I'm actually kind of, am I lost? I hope not. I don't think I'm lost. I think I, can, I think I can get home without using the GPS. The craziest thing, when I first moved out here and I realized I can get home without my GPS, it was like the biggest like mind warp ever. Because when I first moved here, I literally told myself, the day I know I, the day I, know I moved to Miami is the day I know I can get home without a GPS. You know, little secret shortcuts. And I know those now, which is crazy. But let me get home. Um, hopefully I have enough battery. It looks like it's good, but you never know. This shit could just die at any point. No, that doesn't happen. Let me not say that. One wheel is great. Go buy it. Go buy it. Go buy it. One wheel is fucking amazing. I'm literally just coasting right now. Just relaxing. It's not, I'm not scared. I'm not like strenuous. I'm really just chilling, you know? Before I go, let me tell you guys my stories on my first time riding this thing. Oh my God. I went, I almost died so many times riding this thing. So when you first get it, you know, your brain is not adapted to riding something like this. Like this thing here is kind of, it's foreign, you know, it's alien to your, to, your, to your body. So whenever you're first riding it, you know, of course you can't really ride it well. You're kind of wobbling all over the place. I forced myself to learn it like pretty quickly by going out of the city. Like I had, so at the time me and Jerry had cars. Well, actually I didn't have my car. My car got towed and already got took away. That's another, another fucking story time. Fuck, they, Miami stole my car, literally. I went through so much in life, what the hell? I got, no wonder I want to be a YouTuber. I just go through so much crazy shit. So Jerry had his car at the time. I would have them take me to like a random spot in Miami where I couldn't get back without either walking home or riding the one wheel. And that shit was literally so dangerous because at the time I was in my head, yo, I know how to ride the one wheel. I'm a pro at it. In reality, looking back, I was fucking awful. I was terrified. Every point, every time I got around anybody like this, I like slowed down because I'm scared to hit them or I'm gonna like freak out or fall. But now like it's, it just feels like another pair of legs. Like I'm really, I'm swimming in the road. Let me get by. There were so many times where I was riding and I've almost literally crashed. And my mom's watching this, I'm sorry mom, do not watch this. But there were so many, there have been so many times where I've almost crashed and literally ended my life. Like, it was pretty scary. You know, I didn't crash or anything, so it was all right, but it was fucking scary. I shouldn't have not done that. Like, looking back, that shit is so dangerous. At any point, I could have crashed, ended my life, and there would be no tie dent of today there'll be no channel anybody that's getting this that want to get it because of me make sure you're safe you know go to a safe spot learn how to ride it controllably don't go out in the city streets to try to learn because you might you might severely hurt yourself 
So don't do it. But uh, I've been talking. Let me go home. I'm going to go home now. Thank you guys. Uh, yeah. Get it. That's dope. Yo, what is happening here? What is that? Is that a movie? What movie is it? Is it Barbie Part 2? Like, what's going on? Bro, this should be a crime. Look how much si Bro, look at that. That is all That is all sand. All right, so there we go. Um, yeah, so my tripod broke. I'm having to use my big tripod now, which isn't like too bad, but you know, it is nice to have. It is nice to bring this little baby out and just, you know, pop it down and just, you know, so worse as hell, but now, you know, yeah. All right, so for me, um, I'm about to get in the shower because I smell like absolute dog shit, um, and I don't like smelling like shit, so I'm about to take a shower. My haircut, I still need a haircut. Look at that. Yo, oh my God. It's worse than I thought. Yo. Okay, let me go. Let me get in the shower because I look, I look terrible. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you made it this far, I guess... Subscribe. Yeah, do that. Or like, or comment, or whatever people do these days. I don't know. I'm just a guy with a camera. I'm not really an expert. I have no idea. So, yeah, do what you do. Love you guys. Peace. Did I just do a thumbs up? End the video. End the Goodbye.